These last two tips are if you cannot fit a desk anywhere in your space, there's literally, literally no room, these last two tips are for you. Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. If you are new here, my name is Sandy and on this channel we talk about all things interior design. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I need to stop. I, that's just to the video, to the video. As you probably already know from the title of this video, we are going over five work from home hacks. It is quarantine season, we're at home, we're working, those of us who are fortunate enough to be able to, and some of us have small spaces and are realizing we can't really fit a desk anywhere up in there. So watch this video for five creative ways to fit a desk into your space and get some work done. The first way you can add a workspace in is to use a desk as a nightstand. This might be a little unconventional, but it's really, really great to keep your work area as a separate, separate place from where you relax. And if you're working in bed or if you're working on the sofa, those spaces get easily meshed. So if you just take a nightstand out or and put a desk there, you can have the option to just use that as just the workspace. And then when you're done, okay, now, now it's sleep time or whatever else you do in your bed that's you and your business. Not mine, not mine. What I love about this hack is that it's super, super functional, okay? You can put vertical shelves above the desk area as well and you could display the things that you would normally would have put on your nightstand and you can also get a desk with drawers so that way you still have the drawer option that you would with a nightstand. Second option, get a bar height table. So a bar height is gonna be taller than counter height. Counter height, think of like your kitchen cabin, not cabinets, your kitchen counters. Those are about 36 inches high standard. Counter height is gonna be a lot taller. So about like when you're at a restaurant and you're sitting at a bar or something like that, that's about how tall it is. And if you get a bar height table and use a bar stool as a desk chair, that gives you tons of space underneath to put a filing cabinet, to put baskets, to put maybe some organizational drawers or some ottomans where you have storage and could hide the kids' toys or something like that. That is a really, really great way that also saves space. Hack number three is to use your closet as a home office. I'm really excited about this because I actually plan to do this in my bedrooms where I can use one of them. I have two closets and I want to be able to use one of those closets for work because honestly, it's just a bunch of drug in there that I can figure out how to put somewhere else. There are tons, tons and tons of people who are doing this. It is so practical when you don't have a separate office area and you can even take the door off the tracks. So you can store it in the garage, store it under your bed and just put some floating shelves in. Don't take out those wire shelves, little DIY you can do at home. You can get everything shipped to you from Amazon. You don't have to leave the house and put on your mask or anything. You can just put some shelves in and put a desk in with a dining chair. It doesn't even have to be an office chair. And voila, not only do you have an office at home, but you just did some spring cleaning. These last two tips are if you cannot fit a desk anywhere in your space, there's literally, literally no room. These last two tips are for you. So number four, get a lap desk. So a lap desk is very similar to like a breakfast in bed tray. You know, when you see the movies and it's Valentine's day and he brings her breakfast in bed and there's like a single rose and heart shaped waffles. And I'm not salty because no one's ever done that for me. Whatever, doesn't matter, moving on. A lap desk has the same shape except they're adjustable. So you can adjust the height however tall you need. And they have a bit of extra space for you to have a mouse and an iPad and your phone and those kinds of things. So that way, if you do have to use your bed or your sofa as your seating area, you can just put, plop a desk on top of you and it gives you a nice hard surface to work on. And for this particular one, because your desk is going to be on your lap and not on, not at eye level like a desk would be, I really, really recommend getting a riser for your laptop. I have one that I bought from Amazon that I love and it's super compact. It's really, really skinny. Actually, it's right here in front of me. It like collapses so easy, you guys. I love this thing. 
I can keep it in my bag. I take it to Starbucks every time I'm working there and it just raises your laptop so that way you can be more comfortable because when you're hunched over like this it's just ergonomically really bad for you you're probably getting a headache your neck probably hurts your back probably hurts so make sure to get a riser when your laptop is lower than you would like for it to be and last but not least the final way to work from home when you literally don't want to buy a lap desk you don't want to get a desk you don't want to clean out your closet just use your coffee table Use your coffee table not in the way that you're probably using it now, where you're sitting on the sofa and you're hunched over and you're like, hmm, <laughs> uh, am I the only one who looks like that when they're working from home? What you want to do is get on the floor so that you are eye level or more chance of being eye level with your computer. If you're not, again, remember, use our handy dandy riser over here. Get on the floor, but don't just sit on the carpet or the hardwood. Take throw pillows or an ottoman or a floor cushion, put them on the floor, sit so that way it's way more comfortable for you and then just crisscross applesauce, work at your coffee table, do what you need to do and make sure to try and rise that computer. And that is it, ta-da, spirit fingers. <laughs> Those are five ways that you can work from home. All right, whether you're ordering something or whether you're sitting at the coffee table to, to work, make sure that you just try and keep your space separate so that every place in your home is in an office, every counter, every surface. It just gets everything really jumbled and it gets your energy jumbled, I feel like. So if I have a separate space where I work and a separate space where I sleep and relax and hang out with family and friends, that helps keep things separate in your mind too when you have physical separate spaces and will just help make you more happy and more relaxed so that you know, okay, this is over, now it is time for fun. And that concludes this video. If you didn't know about any of these hacks or find them helpful, or if you have any ideas of your own, please comment them down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button, all right, you guys? I say, all right, Beyonce said, if you like it, put a ring on it. I say, if you like it, subscribe. I don't even, psh, who needs a ring? Who needs that? I just need a subscription, much cheaper. Thanks, bye.